just like my favorite scripture, uh, Proverbs 16, 9, uh, we can make our plans, but the Lord uh, determines our steps. That's just what it is. Like I made the plan to work out and stuff like that, but now it's really God's work, whether or, on, or like whether I keep pursuing this and I keep going on with it. But I definitely like, I definitely have super motivation. Like I'm always motivated, self-motivated to be honest. My name is Jojo, founder of 330 Fitness, and you are here with G Flash Productions. Three thirty is the number of the building I grew up in in Brooklyn, New York. Be uh, best style. Fitness and just lifting and being in the gym kept me from a lot of mental uh, trials and tribulations, uh, physical, and it just kept my it kept my mind right and always it helped me uh, network and meet new people and just meet people with different walks of life. And I ain't gonna lie, like working out, like honestly, I would say saved my life. I was going through a time where I was like going to doctors, going to doctors as a young kid, and like they they said I was gonna be like one of them kids that's like two, three hundred pounds at like I like twelve years old, thirteen years old at the route I was going, at the rate I was going, and the way I was eating and stuff, and I was just like, nah, that can't happen. I love sports way too much, so down that road too. But as I got older, I would say it saved my life because just all the the adversity I faced in my life. And it was just like, I always used the gym as an escape because I look at the weight as my adversity and my pain that I was going through. So I always got it off me. Like if I got something on my chest, I'll go bench it. Like, you know what I mean? So like crazy, my worst mental days was my best gym days. Being a chubby kid that got made fun of a lot in school for being chubby. And it kind of like bothered me a little bit, but I always had jokes, so I always had responses back to it. But it always still bothered me just a little bit. So as I began like getting over to like in like middle school and going into high school, like I always like tried to work out a little bit more just to, you know, make myself feel better. Like, of course I was insecure about being big, but it's something that just helped me out. And I've seen it help a lot of other people as well. And I feel like me getting into fitness can inspire the next person up that felt the same way I did. I wake up five in the morning, I don't want to be up five in the morning, but it's just something I feel like I have to do just to set myself apart. So, and maybe I'm motivating somebody to get up at 5 a.m., go work out. Five to 10 years, I definitely think we're gonna be global. Uh, we definitely gonna be like changing a lot of people's lives, like impacting a lot of people. I just wanna impact as many people as possible and just, just like influence people and just inspire people to, help better themselves, their health, like how, how important health really is. Because it's like, that's what I say, you look good, you feel good, you know what I mean? So like people start seeing themselves in a different light, knowing that they can do things and that like adversity is gonna keep coming in different shapes and forms. We gotta, you just gotta get over the hump. You gotta just keep persevering. Like that's why I got like, I got resilience tatted on my neck. Cause it's like coming from where I come from and doing the things like coming out of the hole that I came out of like, there's no way you can't say I'm not resilient. Appreciate where you are, you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta surrender to where you are too. Like, I know you got plans to go to be here, to be there, but sometimes you gotta surrender to where you are because that's gonna be the prerequisite for you getting the success that you want. So, and as for like 330 Fitness, man, let's come work out, get money, man. Like, let's just enjoy ourselves, let's get healthy. Like, let's have fun working out. Let's reach our goals, like our fitness goals. Let's look good. Let's have these summer bodies right. Like, let's work out throughout the summer as well so we can maintain this. So now we going in summer after summer after summer, just looking good, feeling good, eating healthy. You know what I mean? Just feeling good overall and just passing that on to the next person.